Okay. We're gonna find out if there's anything in this fuel tank. Let's hope not. Let's hope it's empty. Let's hope I don't spill gas all over. Got my gloves. Ratchet, extension, not that big of an extension. Okay. Please be empty. Probably not. Probably it's full of junk. But we can hope. Oh, we're gonna make a mess. I know it's gonna smell like buttholes. Oh. If that's any indication of what it probably looks like in there. Yuck. Oh, it's gonna stink. <coughs> P.U. Immediately, we're gonna dump this in my fire pit and light it on fire, and I bet you it doesn't start on fire. <laughs> I think it's only uh, 745. I hope the inside of this tank isn't wrecked. It's red. Let's hope this don't fill up, because that would suck. Oh. oh, gross. That sucks. Dude, this tank is full to the top. Sorry, I stopped talking for a minute. I'm a little like, a little upset. Damn, that sucked. <laughs> oh my hell. I need another gas can and another set of clothes. Dude, that blue. Okay, that sucked. <laughs> need another one of these. Honestly, I was not expecting that to be full. Not even a little. I was expecting like a gallon. That thing had to be full to the top. That thing's, my five gallon tank is full and there's still like a ton in there. So oh, can I grab another one and see how much comes out? But I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this gas. It's so bad, it stinks so bad. It was red, tight. Okay. <laughs> Let's hope there's less than five gallons still in there. I'm pretty sure there has to be. Oh, that sucked. Yuck. I wish you guys could smell this, it's so bad. <coughs> I'm gonna have to open the door. All right, let's try to do this a little better than I did last time. <laughs> What are we gonna do with all the gas? 
Oh my god, there's so much in there. It's gonna stink in here forever. Okay, that's good. So, what's that? Four and a half gallons plus two and a half, so seven gallons. Uh, put the plug back in. Put this back in and then, uh, oh, armpit. <sighs> yeah, we gotta open the door. It's so bad in here. Okay. Fire hazard. I've owned this car for, I think, three years. So, wait, when did I get this car? At least two and a half. So, that gas has been sitting in there. And then my friend owned it for like two and a half years. And it probably wasn't running for a long time before that. Stained our floor with dirty gas. Let's tighten that up. Switch the ratchet to on. Tighten that plug. Make sure I tighten it because I probably uh, won't remember to go back later. So, okay. Now let's throw the lids on these because they stink. We're going to do an experiment. We're going to go out to my fire and dump some of this on there and see if it lights on fire, which it probably won't. Okay. Can you see good? Cool. This camera can see good. Okay, let's take some of this, get a little warm over here. Uh, might have been too much. <laughs> Cap it so water doesn't get in our uh, gas can and hurt our fuel. That wouldn't be good, even though it's brown. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to start on fire. Oh, guess it works. Oh, there goes all those rags. <laughs> cool. It's in a safe fire pit, people. Now that we know the tank is empty, um, all we have to do is, I want to say that's the fuel feed line. So we'll unbolt that, which probably won't. And then I think there's this line. There's two other lines that we'll just cut. They need to be replaced anyway. Sorry, you're looking right at this bar. <laughs> There's two other lines that need to be cut. This one and this guy. And then we'll try to unbolt this one. But then all we have to do is that bolt and then one just like it right there. At least PV blaster smells better than uh, old gas. Let's spray that guy, that guy, this one over there, that one again, and that one, and then uh, that one over there. <laughs> For anyone who was watching, I just thought about this now. When, when the gas was draining, I actually pulled the funnel from the gas can, not realizing it's full of fuel because it's got a cap in it. And so it was like draining into the can that I was trying to light up, but then I was pouring it on the ground. I just thought of that. Man, I went like full panic mode. Big shocker, this came apart easily. So all I have to do is cut these and then the fuel neck. Take a pair of these. Hmm. Uh -huh. um, might not fit in here. Cut. And cut. Might need something with a little more reach. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, decide how we're going to go about this fuel neck. Uh, it might just, I might just wing it. <laughs> it might just, I don't want to unbolt it from here because then it might not seal again. And so it, if I drop the tank and go to the side a little, it might just fall out. So we'll try that. Oh, 
light. Oh, the battery's dead. smooth okay so doing this by myself let's hope that works <laughs> <laughs> wiring. It's always wiring. Oh. Hey, perfect. Wasn't hooked to anything. <sighs> Thread these back up in the hole so I remember where they were. Where they go, rather. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that went pretty smooth. Take this down. I don't need it up there anymore. Okay, so. Weird. That actually, I completely forgot to unplug this, but apparently it wasn't plugged or hooked up to anything. So that worked out. <laughs> Just needed to be pulled through the hole. Um. I'll probably wait to open this up and look in there. I already kind of know what it's going to look like. And I don't want like this sitting outside. And I don't want the smell to get any worse. Because it stinks in here pretty bad. But uh, at least now that is out. And we're in the process of, uh, I'll get it clean. Order a new seal for it. Maybe even, in, I know that you can still get like the Toyota pickups. I had, did one on an old Toyota truck I had. So hopefully I can still get like the fuel hanger. Maybe I'll just order a new one, put a 255 Walbro in it, put it back in, it'll be good. But once again, like, look at the trunk. It's not rusty. This is like, whatever that is. I'll pick up some tools. That smell bad. Okay, <clears throat> but yeah. Exhaust is down. Gas tank's down. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this car. Um, I'll probably just unpin these and get them out of the way so they're not dangling and getting bent up. But yeah, it's uh, baby steps. I really, really need, want to find some steel front fenders and get started on the front. I mean, like, this is stuff I have to do. It definitely, that needs to get cleaned out because no way do I want whatever's in that going into the injectors or a new fuel filter I purchase or whatever. Um, so this has to be done, but it's not very exciting. Are fun, but uh, yeah, at least everything like all the junk is off of the car, so we can kind of we can kind of look at it now and decide what to do next, what direction to take it, how bad it is. But it's it's not bad. I know that this whole uh, the cross members just chilling in here because the engine came out and went back in. I know that that one's stripped, and so what I need to do is just cut a hole and then uh, I'll weld a, a, a nut to a plate stick it up in there and then weld the plate to the body so that there's threads again. I've done that in the past and had good luck with it. And then uh, this is a stock Toyota mount and the bolt, like the studs have shoulders. So I'll just make a spacer and then stick it on there, tighten it up and then cut these flush. So they're not, this is the stuff that catches on your trailer when you're pulling on and off your trailer. But a uh, manual rack. Um, like I said, most of this stuff up here is clean and new, except for the coilovers, but yeah. I had all of this out of it last summer, so. I'm just excited to be working on this car again. Kind of taking it all in, but yeah. Um, nothing really else under here to show you. What I think I'm gonna do is uh, try 
Actually, I'll probably call, call it here. And then uh, next time we're just gonna work on this entire quarter. So uh, we're gonna radius this and then take this inner wheel well and cut it. And then we'll take a nice piece of sheet metal and fill the gap like so that it's completely sealed and we don't have these cuts. And then we'll work on this dent, which um, I'll just do in the next video. So yeah, tight. I'll just button these up, clean up my mess, leave the garage door open because it smells awful in here. And uh, oh, we should probably make sure my fire is uh, not on fire. Still burning. Tight. Man, that stunk so bad. Cool, I'm ready for a shower, so. In the next video, I will uh, work on this dent, work on these wheel wells. Also, the rock, like, where they had skirts, they drilled a bunch of holes in the rocker, like all along it. There's one there. I'll weld those up and uh, just make them disappear so that when I put skirts on, there aren't like 60 holes. I'll just drill new holes, put new rivets. Or it would be, I would prefer riv nuts because then they're a little more removable without like too much damage. Um, but yeah, I'll just uh, kind of clean up my mess and then in the next video, we'll work on dents in these quarters and hopefully by then I'll have found some front fenders. So yeah, uh, that's it. Thanks, bye.